In the midst of this pandemic, we've heard more and more about personal battles with COVID-19. It's something happening in the background for a lot of people going about our daily lives with a few modifications until it hit, hits home. KMR Local Force Ali Cassetti shares a local health care worker's unique story. Take a look. You don't think it's going to hit your home, and then when it does, it's it's hard. In the final months of 2020, Melinda Blassengame watched her worlds collide as her 93 year old mother was transported by ambulance to a local hospital where she happened to work. Her mother was then admitted for COVID-19. It was just it was extremely hard having her up here because with the cochlear, she couldn't hear very well. And so and having mask, uh, she got to where she was reading lips and couldn't really understand what the nurses were saying. And with the 93 year olds lack of hearing, her nurses had to think outside the box in order to communicate with her. They finally started writing on a, a dry erase board and they would write her messages on that. Like anyone who's been diagnosed with coronavirus, when it came to communicating, the phone was blasting game and her mother's best option. She would call me and in order for her to know that I was listening, I would hit keys on my phone and she could hear the beeping. And so she knew that I was listening. And knowing that her elderly mother was scared, isolated, and just a few floors away hit Blasting Game hard. It's really hard because the nurses are so busy and so, you know, they're stressed as well, trying to take care of, of their own, their other patients. And, you know, you as a family member are like, well, you need to call me right now, but they're busy with other people. And as a staff member, I get that. After nearly a month, her mother was released. However, the universe then threw the family a curveball as soon the roles were reversed. Sadly, <laughs> the day that my mom came home from the hospital, I was tested positive. So I left my mom at my house so my kids could take care of her and then I had to quarantine at her house. While both women have now been lucky enough to overcome the virus, Blasson Game mentioned that her mother has set a couple of goals for herself. You know, I just don't know if mom will ever be able to permanently go home. That's her goal. Um, actually, her goal is to make it to 100, and when she reaches 100, she says she's out of here. She's done. In Amarillo, Ali Cassetti, KAMR, Local 4 News. A Blazingham also spoke about her experience with quarantine and depression, and to read more about that story, it continues over on our website, myhighplains.com. While you're there, you can get a preview of tonight's story at 10 and what it's like to be a housekeeper within a hospital during a pandemic.